Since last year, arms sales have increased tenfold to Israel. This is more than an acceptance. This is complicity. Germany should be in the hate as well. I'll take the liberty to, and I ask the moderation if that's okay, to also um, introduce someone that I'm very happy that's in the, in the audience tonight, which is Milan Roban from the Jewish Voice. Thanks, um, Johannes. It was nice to hear Janis mention uh, Eva Sefritz earlier. She is one of my closest comrades in our organization. And of course, she went viral with her little one woman protest. Um, and it highlights the absurdity, of course, of the general German response to the issue of Palestine and the way that it uh, soils this issue with that of, of anti Semitism. And of course, you spoke of Gaza earlier, and we really need to talk about Gaza, and I don't just mean here, where many of us agree on that subject, but everywhere. And I don't just mean on the street either. Of course, in the movement, we're all hitting the streets every week. But I also mean speaking about it to people around us. You know, maybe a friend, maybe a colleague. In many situations, it can be dangerous to do this. People have lost their jobs. People have been stigmatized in culture, in academia, in politics. So a lot of people are very careful about opening their mouths. But where is possible, we have to do it. Because the consensus that it's somehow acceptable to stifle this position, which is really just the position of human rights and basic morality, this consensus has to be destroyed. And it can't be destroyed just by demonstrating, and it can't be destroyed just by lobbying politicians. It has to be destroyed through society, because apparently 61% of Germans do not agree with what's happening in Gaza, so the polls claim. But many of those are not going to say it, because they don't want to be called anti-Semitic. They, they want to believe that the correct response to the Holocaust is not to say it. And we have to convince them that actually the only response to the Holocaust is to say it. Because if you are against genocide, then you are against all genocide. And the Nazi Holocaust was one genocide and this is another. And with all the differences between every genocide, we cannot say that we have learned from that and that we stand for some kind of motto of never again if we are accepting this, and Germany in particular committed two genocides in the 20th century, in Namibia and in the Holocaust. Yeah. And now you see that not only defending politically the genocide in Gaza, but also saying that it will support Israel in court, that it will be an active legal defender of genocide, and of course the whole time it is arming Israel. Since, since last year, arms sales have increased tenfold to Israel. This is more than an acceptance, this is complicity. Germany should be in the hate as well. And so we have to make this clear. There is no... We will not accept any different standard of morals and human rights within Germany because of what Germany has done before. On the contrary, if anything, Germans should feel more obliged than anyone else to make sure that there is really never again for anyone.